JK Coins here for a Memorial Day Mega Hunt. It's like Flint, Michigan Mega Bowl. <laughs> Memorial Day Mega Hunt. <laughs> uh, seven boxes from three different banks. It's 3,500 bucks. Kyle and I are gonna start digging into this. Let's see what we can get. It's on you, go. I don't see anything. I don't see anything, but I said that every time, and <laughs> there's always something. Uh, let's see this one. Normal box. There's got to be something in here. All right, uh, about I don't know, a third of the way through the box, and got our first silver, or it looks like our first silver. Looks probably. I heard it. 1968, 40 percenter. Good stuff. Let's see what else we can find. All right, open this next roll, and uh, wasn't really checking the enders since it was on the bottom row, and see. right there, got an ender. What is it? It is a 1964, 90%. Oh. All right, so last roll in the box. Pretty sure I got a silver right here. It's looking really nice. And it is a 64, 90%. So that makes two 90% Number two. of this box. Okay, I got skunked out of my box of halves. Kyle got two 90%ers and a 40%. Uh, and another coin that we're gonna show at the end. These are always harder to open. Good looking box. Nothing super stands out at first. Let's see if uh, the big guy can get his box open. I don't see much either. Hopefully, I get something this time. All right, this uh, mega hunt for me at least is turning into a mega bust. That's the second box I've gone through with nothing. Trying to stay hopeful. All right, so I went through a full box with nothing. I'm about halfway through this box with nothing, feeling a little down. Opened it up, wasn't not really paying attention to the ends, had an ender. Looked at the ender and realized that it is a Franklin. 90%, 1960. Franklin, you've never looked so good. So hopefully that's a good sign for this box. Let's see what else we can find. All right, well, I got skunked on my third box in a row. This is the last box I ordered from the video I made the other day where I did okay. I can't even see. I'm not seeing anything that stands out, but there better be silver in here. A lot of it. Okay, I think this is my first actual silver over halfway through this box. So let's we'll see what it is. Right here. It looks worn. But, oh, it's 90%, so it's, like it's got some gum on it, but. I found another 99P. Yeah, we found probably 199. It's, there's one right here. I mean, they're all. 99Ps. This is one of the worst shaped ones, but they're all... Here's another one. Yep. I mean, every... They're all really good to condition like this one, but not keeping them. Alright, this is the last roll. All we got was that one ninety percenter out of the, uh, the last box. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share as I am trying to open this last roll, which is going to take forever. There we go. And of course. And I see nothing. So, um, not much quantity, but we do have some quality. You want to talk about those? 
Yeah, we ended up with 160 Franklin, 364s, a 68, and then something we thought was pretty awesome for a second. It was a 71 that's been painted. It looked really silver at first, but once you pick it up and you feel it, you can tell um, it's been painted, so. If you do look it up, there is a 71 that is not a, um, that's not an S mark. That is silver. It's an error planchet or something like that, but pretty sure it's worth a couple grand if it's in good condition. So got excited for a second until we did the drop test. All right. Until the next time, we'll see you guys.